So on today's video, I'm gonna be installing my ported exhaust manifold that I have sitting here and see if it makes any difference at all on the performance of the Ford Ranger. In my previous video, I went through the process of port matching the factory exhaust manifold with the turbo size. And if you missed that video, I'll throw a link in the description right now. And this is just a continuation of part two of that video. So without any further waiting, let's get into it. I'm about an hour in and um, turbo is just about ready to come off. Makes it so much easier when things aren't rusted on. The China Spec Turbo has been holding up pretty well. No unusual shaft play or anything like that. It's um, been working pretty good. Now all that's left is to pull that exhaust manifold off and switch the new one over. And here we have both of the exhaust manifolds side by side. As you can see, the one that I've ported is considerably bigger than the factory one, but you can't quite see it because of all the um, carbon buildup that's on there. So I'm just gonna attempt to take some of that off so we can have a bit of a better comparison of the two. There we have it. So I just gave it a quick lick of paint between the two just to see the uh, amount of difference that there is between the ported and the non-ported. And if I get my calipers out, do a quick measurement. On this one, we've got about, I'd say 36. And on this one here, we're at 43. Got the exhaust manifold all bolted up, now it's time to fit the turbo. Turbo is all bolted up and in. Now time to do the rest of the finishing pieces and we're good to go for a test drive. So I just fired it up, checked for leaks. There's no leaks whatsoever, no exhaust leaks or anything like that, which is perfect. So now it's time to go take it for a test drive. So this is my conclusion on the exhaust manifold porting. I did notice the responsiveness down low did improve. It wasn't by a whole lot, but you could definitely notice it. 
wide open throttle. Also, I feel the car sort of revved out quicker. While I didn't see that much of an increase in boost, I did feel like the car was breathing a lot better. So definitely noticeable in there. Um, in the comparison videos, you can kind of tell in the first two videos where I've got the side-by-side -side comparison of the ported and unported, the ported did accelerate slightly quicker than the unported. And the very last video I got of when I was still running the stock exhaust stock exhaust manifold and stock turbo. Um, both the scenarios were at wide open throttle and I did see quite a big improvement in the acceleration of the mods I've done so far compared to when I was still running the stock stuff. So I think in the next video, I will probably go and put the car on the dyno because I'm actually pretty curious as to see what sort of power figures it is at now since I've done the mods. Um, keep it in mind, I'm still running the factory tune. It hasn't been remapped or anything like that. It's still all factory tuning. So that'll be an interesting video and hopefully I can um, have that one coming up in a not too distant future. So until then, see you guys later.